We are going to learn about typecasting in Java. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Master Coding Channel. If you want to learn coding and start your programming career, you came to the right place. Hit subscribe and like so you help us make new tutorials. Let's begin. What is typecasting in Java? As explained in the previous chapter, and previous videos, a variable in Java can be casted for other types. Type casting is when you assign a value of one primitive data type to another type. In Java, there are two types of casting, widening casting automatically, converting a smaller type to a larger type size. So type uh, of byte, uh, it could be assigned and widened toward making it a bigger because we have seen before that variables uh, has range. So in order to widen this range, we can make something called casting. We can make byte to short, uh, cast it to short, cast it to car, car, cast it to end, long, float, and double. In the opposite way, narrowing casting or manually converting a larger uh, make, made the manually converting a larger type to a smaller type. So the double would be float, would be long, end, car, short, and byte. What I'm talking about? Let's take a real example. Widening casting is done automatically when passing a smaller size type to a larger size type. Example, we have this class called my class and the main method. Inside the main method, remember you, you need uh, everything you need to be executed, you should put it in the main method. So int, in my int equal to nine, I would automatically cast and to double, change it to double. Double my double equal to my int. So my system dot out dot print my int and system dot out print my double. This will output nine and output nine point zero. Let's try it live. So in this, this is the variable a equal to ten and Let's remove this and I will put A. It will print out at value 10. But now let's cast it to double. So I will create a variable double called J equal in the same way of having my int called A. This will create a variable J of type double. It would store inside it the value of int, but the value of a, but a is a, a int. So it is automatically would be casted to a double. So but, but the 10, here is the value 10, and now j is 10.0. So this is a double value. This is the widening of the uh, widening of uh, widening ca casting widening uh, in Java, widening casting in Java. Now let's see the narrowing casting in Java. Must uh, this casting, this type of casting, must be done manually by placing the type in the parentheses of in front of the value. Here we see that we don't need to put anything in, except for making a new variables and assign it. So. The Java would make it very uh, automatically. The narrowing, because we are here, we moved from int to double. We are now going to wide, uh, widen the, this and uh, sorry, narrowing this casting and make it smaller. We need to put in front of the variable, the variable, the parentheses and uh, the type between them. What, what uh, this would be? Okay, I will remove int here and I will put 10.10 10 
uh, F. It's sorry, D. Let's print out J. It would be the same. It will give the result the same because I'm printing just printing the J. Now, for example, if I need int F to be the variable J, but I don't need it as a double, I need it to to int. I put between a parenthesis the type of it, and we pass the int j this way click run click run oh, okay i am having the error i'm printing j i i need to print f and here we go the java compiler executed the program changing the variable of type j and cast, uh, sorry, casting the variable j to int and storing it into the variable f and then printing out the variable f and would be 10. In this way, we need to narrow, narrow casting it done, is done by making between parentheses the type that we are going to be casted outside. As as a, a map for casting uh, in Java. So the character would be uh, int, could be casted to long, double, float, and short. Byte would be short, int, uh, and can uh, go to the end. Int, float, int, double, int, long. Long can be float, long bit, uh, can be double, float can be double character would be int this is casting so as an overview as remember just a remembering note text file named hello java hello world java should be the same name uh, for the class uh, the main method as i told you all the codes that we have we need to execute we put them inside the main uh, method and here we go with the statements and the body in the next video we are going to see the operators we have uh, uh, see the uh, a very quick look on the operators and the, the mathematical operators we are going to uh, make a more and more uh, uh, more and more tutorials and go deep with the operators now here we go to the question of this video please comment below comment below the results the result of this program okay i will give you that i have i have here double y equal or double x equal to 18.5 and double y equal to 16.8 d you can uh, you can uh, forget about d now i need to print out the value of i would int k equal i would print out the value of k so what is k k equal to float or float float k equal float x okay please comment below to see if you understand well this lesson. In every lesson, we will uh, make a test and quiz to, uh, to ensure that the knowledge has been anchored in your brain. So, and there uh, are, uh, uh, there would be partial and uh, final tests. The real final and real uh, uh, partial test for our universities 
um, and many universities uh, worldwide and would be posted and executed live on our YouTube channel. So you don't miss to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the uh, five stars on uh, Udemy. So you don't miss any next uh, sol solutions and uh, next uh, courses for free. Thank you, guys. I hope you answered this and comment it below. The first one would be anchored. Uh, the first correct uh, qu answer would be uh, anchored. Thank you, guys. See you in next videos.